Welcome back, YouTube family. My name is Monica, and I'm your hostess for We The People TV 2022. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for your support. Well, this is the last episode of the season. Until we resume in 2023. And... I get to say one more time, you know how we do. Okay, y'all, I made it to 28 episodes. Can you believe it? I put on my vision board that I wanted to start a YouTube channel and I did just that. I am so proud of me. Let me pat myself on the back. Yes, so we're doing it one more last time, y'all. One more last time. What are we talking about? Let's see. It's been a couple of weeks again. I've been in my A. Um, one of the things I did want to talk about was um, if you're from the South, Alabama in particular, you will know um, about the Alabama State and JSU game. I think it was Alabama State uh, homecoming, if I'm not mistaken. That happened, in, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, well, no, about a, a week and a half ago. Um, maybe a couple of weeks. Yeah, maybe a couple of weeks. But anyway, um, there was a video of ASU's coach. Um, going in, you know, after the game, how the coaches, you know, they go up to one another and shake hands or whatever. Well, when Dion went to pull in uh, J ASU's coach, I think his name is Robinson, um, he pulled back, he pushed back. And so, uh, I think one of my Facebook friends was asking, um, what do people think about the video? Did it seem like um, Coach Robinson was uh, salty or was, you know, Dion, Coach Sanders, was he just real arrogant? So I watched it and to me, to me, it looked like uh, Coach Robinson was a little salty about losing. So, I posed a question to the jury. Do you think Coach Robinson was right to pull away from Coach Sanders? You comment below. If you get a chance, go out there and check the video out. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. If you get a chance, go out and check the video out uh, before you answer. And tell me what you think. Be honest with me now. Here's what the jury had to say. You comment below later. There were some who said yes. There were some who said no. And there were some who said I don't know. So it was a three-way split, y'all. And you're going to have to break the tie. So comment below. Moving on to the next story, Holly Weir has had um, several divorces in the last couple of weeks. And I know y'all heard about them. Um, Tia Moore and her husband, Corey Hardwick, Hardwick, Rick, I don't know how to talk y'all. I think that's how you say his name. They called it quiz. Was that surprising to y'all? It really wasn't me. I don't know, we'll talk about it in a minute. Um, Cynthia Bailey and her husband, Mike Hill, that also wasn't surprising to me. I'm gonna tell you why too. Uh, Neil and his his wife, Krista Renee, you know, we even touched on that a little bit. Uh, Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen, I think that's how you pronounce that. Faith Evans and her husband, Stevie J, and Ray J and his wife, Princess. So, now, Tia and her husband, uh, 
call it quits, but I think it's um, a mutual thing. I'm, I'm gathering. Um, I know she filed, but uh, I don't know. He hadn't said much. Um, I hadn't really uh, seen or heard much on her end either other than she did, she's done like some scripted things about loving yourself and putting yourself first and that type of thing. But, you know, you can take that kind of either way. It don't necessarily mean you unhappy in your relationship. And then again, you know, it can. But to me, I just, I don't know. I always had a question mark about their relationship. Um, they look good together and they seem like they got along pretty well. But as far as um, uh, loving each other, like, and I ain't going to say they don't love each other. I'm just saying, like, what I picked up was it was one sided to me. It seemed one sided to me. It seemed like she loved him more. And I'm not saying he don't love her. I'm just saying he, she was the person that, uh, and, and I don't want to say something that's ugly, but it just seemed like she was more into the relationship than he was to me. Now, I'm not saying he don't love his wife because I'm sure he does and he did or whatever, but it just seemed like she had more vested in the relationship to me. And I didn't really think it was going to last long. That's just my personal opinion. I ain't no expert. That's just something I saw. Um, now, Cynthia Bailey and her husband, Mike Hill. Now, I watched a video a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can go and check it out yourself. But it was a video that Steve Harvey had done when he set up uh, Mike and Cynthia. He had Cynthia come on his show and he had his talk show. And he did like a blind date with three men and they all got to ask her questions and she asked them questions. And at the very end, she, it was between um, Mike Hill, a doctor uh, from Atlanta, and I want to say a lawyer, and I can't remember where he was from. But to be honest with you, none of them seemed like a good candidate to me for her, but that was just me. But she was going to choose the doctor. And Steve talked to her, and she ended up going out with Mike, which uh, ended up, you know, they ended up getting married. And when she got ready to get mad, I said, she don't be more, want that man, and the man don't know. And it ain't that, it's not that she didn't want him. Her choice wasn't him. She was going for somebody that I feel like she, you know, she could, she, I don't know, like she didn't have to invest in somebody had their own you know what i mean um and i ain't saying she had to do that with mike but i know her previous marriage with her uh what's the man name oh he's so good looking um oh what is her husband's ex-husband's name but anyway uh they had some financial troubles and i know she you know was probably uh that probably weighed on her, that relationship. But um, Peter, that's his name, Peter. I like Peter. Peter's a nice looking guy. Um, but yeah, she wasn't going to pick Mike. She was going to pick uh, this doctor. And so Steve talked to her and, and she ended up picking this man. So yeah, so I wasn't too shocked when you know, she filed for divorce. Um, Neo and Crystal, you know, we talked about that. You know, Neo gave us the heads up about their relationship in the song, uh, Don't Love Me. And Tom Brady and Giselle. Now, I don't, I don't know too much about Tom Brady and his wife other than, um, you know, he was supposed to retire this year from the NFL and he came back 
And so it's from my understanding, um, based on, you know, the little snippets and stuff that they've been saying in the news, that when he decided to come back into the NFL, the day put their marriage on the rocks because she was the, the wife, I think, was looking forward to kind of um, living her life now because she had been in the background, you know, while he played football and took care of the family and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know much about them. So, uh, but if that's the reason why I can kind of understand, that's a lot of strain on uh, relationships, especially us women. We just take on so much in a relationship with men. Then there's Faith Evans and Stevie J. Now, I don't I don't know anything about this relationship. So if y'all do, comment below. Um, only thing I know is that, you know, they were in the news a couple of times. Um, I think Stevie J cheated, I think. But I do want, I did wonder, why would she marry him? They don't look like they go together. Like, That's right. Why they go together to you? I know she's such a pretty lady. I don't know. But you know her and big honey. Ooh. Mm -mm. I ain't get that one either. I ain't understand that relationship. But I guess it ain't for me to understand, child. And last but not least, we got um, Ray J and Princess. Now, you know, they've been in the news also. Back and forth, back and forth. And as of today, it was uh, revealed that on that last famine, I think on that um, show that they're on, Ray J uh, exposed Princess by saying that every time he cheated, she was in the bedroom with him. Say what now? When he had a threesome, y'all, she was in there. So, she decided to come forward to explain herself. And um, in her defense, she said that she did participate in threesomes, but it was to um, accommodate her husband. She wanted him to be happy. Now, I ain't no expert on marriage, but... I think um, well equipped or <laughs> uh, got a, enough experience to know that if both parties are not on board, it ain't gonna work. With something like that, you're inviting a whole lot of stuff into your relationship when you have threesomes. I ain't never had no threesome, but. This, 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 oof, I'm not surprised. That doesn't surprise me. Are you surprised? Mm -mm. So, I decided to do something fun with the divorce um, couple. So we're gonna play a game. Um, I got this idea from um, a lady I watch, um, T.S. Madison, she plays this on her show. It's called Alexa Play, and the theme is breakups. So if you think of a song to help these lovebirds, um, get, you know, get over their parting ways, please comment below. Our first song of, uh, of tonight or today is going to be, um, let's see. Alexa. Play After the Love is Gone by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Alexa, play Broken Hearted by Brandy. Alexa, play Where Do We Go From Here by Stacey Lattisaw and Johnny Gill. Alexa, play X Factor by Lauren Hill. It could all be so love in you is like battle. Alexis, play Usher, let it burn. And it's better for me to let it go now. It's gonna burn for me to say this. It's coming from my heart, let it burn. Alexa. 
play Tyrese, how you gonna act like that? Now moving on to our last story of the season. Um, we're closing our season out with none other than Kanye West. Um, on our last episode, we spoke about Kanye and how, um, what was Kanye doing y'all? He done did so much, so much. Um, but lately, he and his sidekick, uh, Candace Owens, decided to go to Paris and wear a white t-shirt with black, I mean, White Lives Matter. Um, and to add insult to injury, he did a podcast with, uh, I forgot the guy's name, and said that George Floyd did not die from the, the policeman's knee on his neck. He died from fentanyl. So, I was really, really, really hoping that I didn't have to sentence you, Mr. Um, West, but you have pushed me to do just that but before i sentence you we're gonna do alexa play for you as well alexa play nars barkley crazy I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. kanye is crazy what we finna send to some y'all because we got to send it to him you got to go you got to go kanye Let me tell you something mr west this scriptures come to mind for you, for me. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his mind? Because you lost yours. You need to take some of your billions and go get you the best psychiatric help that you can afford. Because, sir, you need help. And I'm sentencing you to seek that help. Or we will involuntarily place you in a psychiatric ward. Okay? You have seven days to get that done. Or I will send them uh, marshals for you, sir. I want to thank everyone who watched my video, share my video, like my video, laugh with me, learn from me. However, whatever I did that was positive, uh, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to come into your home, your cars, wherever you watch me from. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to regroup in my time off and going to make uh, this channel better. Um, I have so many uh, ideas that I would like to um, execute. Um, but first, I want to start by growing my channel because we just maintain, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, we just maintain our little, we're well, not little. Because everybody makes a difference. So we maintain the number, but I would like to get an increase. And so I'm asking you to pray that I get an increase in my viewers, my followers. I'm going to put that on my vision board. And I'm going to make put in the work and effort and steps that I need to do on my end so that my channel can grow. And I look forward to seeing y'all January 2023. In the meantime, follow me on Instagram at We The People TV 22, where I'll be posting 
videos periodically there or in or polls so you can still vote on things that are going on in the world and I will be building my um, viewers over there as well so thank you again for watching and y'all enjoy the rest of 2022 peace